water is a very important resource without water life is not possible we cannot imagine life on the earth surface without water everyone is dependent on water for their survival so students topic for today's video is the chapter water resources so in this video we are going to discuss the topics like use of water irrigation types of irrigation need for water conservation rainwater harvesting and methods of recharging underground water so this topics will be covering in three different videos so let's start with the chapter as we know two third of the earth is covered with water but 97 percent of water is saline only three percent of water is fresh water out of 3%, 2% is present in the glacier or in the polar ice caps. Only 1% is available as fresh water. In the figure also you can see the fresh water is divided in surface water, ground water and glaciers and ice caps. The surface water in the lakes and the other some other aspects. So the fresh water is available to us in two ways. Surface water and the ground water. Surface water like rivers, lakes, pond, ground water which is present inside the earth's surface uses of water now water is a very important resource so they are potentially useful and they are used also in many sectors like agriculture industries household generation of electricity recreation and environmental activities agriculture around 70 percent of the water is utilized in agriculture because the population is also increasing another sector which utilize maximum amount of water is industries most of the industries utilize water. Household sectors in day-to-day -day life we use a views amount of water. As you can see in the figure how much of water is utilized. Generation of electricity, the hydroelectricity is also dependent on the utilization of water. Recreational like water parks and all also requires water. And environmental activities like plantations, afforestations and all also requires water. The next topic is irrigation. Now, what is irrigation? Now, irrigation uh, refers to the artificial means of supplying water to the farmland is known as irrigation. Irrigation can be, the sources can be two types, primary source and the secondary source. Primary source is the rainfall. Secondary sources is the canal, wells, tubules, etc. Now, need for irrigation in India. Why do we need irrigation? Two thirds of our population is dependent on agriculture. So, agriculture is the prime source of occupation for Indians. Some of the factors why need irrigation is those uncertainty of monsoon, nature of monsoon, nature of soil, crop requirement. So, the geographical condition especially the nature of monsoonal rainfall in India makes the irrigation indispensable because the rainfall in India is uncertain, unreliable, irregular, variable, seasonal and unevenly distributed. The main rainfall which brings or the wind southwest monsoon either it comes before or after the scheduled date of arrival. So it becomes inevitable for the uh, need of irrigation in India and uh, there is a large variation in the spatial distribution of rainfall also areas like Meghalaya receives 1000 cm areas like Thar Desert receives only 10 cm of rainfall so only 30% of the cultivated area in India receives a sustainable rainfall of 100 cm soils some of the soils like sandy and loamy are very uh, porous in nature they won't be able to retain moisture but the soil like alluvial soil and the black soil retains more amount of water. So the areas having sandy and the loamy soil requires irrigation facilities. There are certain crops also which requires more amount of water supply like rice and sugarcane so that there is an increase in the yield and the production of these crops. So that can be achieved only through the artificial supply of water that is irrigation which makes essential in India as well as the introduction of high yielding varieties of seeds 
uh, also includes the high dose of chemical fertilizers now with the implement of chemical fertilizers and the hyb seeds we have to implement more supply of water and that more supply of water can be achieved only through the means of irrigation and also the ever increasing population leads to more irrigation facilities different types of irrigation now students this will be the topic for our next video thank you for watching and if you find this video quite informative then please like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel